Hi everyone, it's Dee from Total Dove. How's everyone doing? Well, I'm here with a Fanzel's uh, unboxing. I made a big purchase uh, and I think I have about seven cross stitches and five diamond paintings. They're smaller size diamond paintings. What I will do, because I think it will end up such a long video if I do everything in one take so I think I will split it up in two I will yeah record two videos separate videos one after the other and then that way um, they may still be a little bit long each but you can always pause it and watch it later I'm sure you don't mind um, but yeah I'm really excited I've had had it sitting there for a few weeks and I yeah, I'm eager to have a closer look at all the, especially the cross stitches. So I'm going to reposition the camera and yeah, we'll have a look. Okay, so this is all, it all here. Um, I think I was going to do all cross stitching and then maybe diamond paintings, but I think I'm going to have to mix it up a little bit. So we might just grab two diamond paintings and put the three aside for the next video. Three cross stitches. And we'll put the four aside. I've just put my timer on. So if we've got time, um, I might just add another cross stitch. But we'll see how we go. But let's open the diamond paintings first. As I said, this is these are from Fan I bought them myself, and I think uh, they have so many lovely things on their website. It always takes me so long to decide what I want because I just basically I want everything. <laughs> so I will link their website in the description below for you. Isn't that pretty, mandalas? Love them. And these are the special gems. Yes, they are. So there's 13 all up. Symbols are on the side. So this is partial, obviously, with the special gems. So the stickiness, the glue is only where you need to stick the, the little jammies. And close up of the symbols. So this one's for me. I made a purchase because I want to make my granddaughters some things and I want to gift something for my mother for Mother's Day. I want her to introduce her to a cross stitch. Uh, the stamped cross stitches actually. So you'll see that. And that will probably be in the... I oh know, it will be in this video. Okay, so there's the kit. The normal kit you get with the pen, the wax and the tray. I'll have a quick look at the pretty gems. I'm like a magpie, so I'm attracted to anything that sparkles, that has colour, that glitters, that shines. <laughs> so all different shapes. This is like an AB. Purple red. These are purple, but like, as you move... I change colour to the golds and pinks. Pretty blue. I don't know if you can see the colours. They always um, show upside down, most of them, but look at that. Just a peach. Clear. Pretty blue. And then in different shapes, they will 
looks really effective, I think. Lovely green. I love that Christmas green. That one's just black. They're not sparkly, but you can wipe over them once they're stuck on the design. And lovely yellow. So that's the first one. And what's in this one? We will find out. I'm still working on my autumn themed cross stitch, I'm trying to get half of it done to see if I want to continue with that because it does look still a little pixelated. Now hopefully my daughter won't watch my channel, I don't think she does, I think my son-in-law watches now and then, um, but this one's for my daughter, I'm going to finish this for her birthday mid-year and when I was choosing some designs for her children, my grandchildren, she mentioned she loved a city. It wasn't the particular one that she picked, but this is what I found and I thought I would do that one for her. Isn't it pretty? She loves colour, she's like me. But she's uh, a lot more bold than me with colour, I think. She's got a bright yellow wall, a main feature wall in her family room. So this, is, this would go really nicely. So a lovely cityscape. You know what I would love to get her actually? A cityscape with the glow uh, drills, the glow in the dark drills. I think that would be that would look really nice. Can you imagine the drills in the the building windows that glow in the dark? I think that would be really nice. I'm just wondering if this has that in there and that's why I've picked it. We will see anyway. Very pretty, very colourful, and there's 22 colours all up. Again the kit, I won't go through that again. And let's just take a quick look at the drills. Lovely colour there. The greens always stand out so nicely, I think, especially the lime greens with the peach. And that's it. Okay, so now we'll go on to the, I've got three cross stitches here. Now I'll do this one first. This one is the one that I chose for my mum. She loves pinks, burgundies, lilacs, any lavender, purple tones. So... And that is the design, a coffee cup with some pansies. Oh, I love pansies and I know mum loves flowers. And this is just a small one and I thought to introduce her to, she loves cross stitching, but she, she's always only ever made uh, counted cross stitches. So I thought I would introduce her to the printed cross stitch. And this is, what is the size, 20 by 27 centimetres. The design will be, be smaller, I think the, the measurement is from the whole canvas. So partial, so you're only doing the inner design. And there are... Nineteen colours all up. So I'm just hoping these are pretty clear, but they're just a little bit small. But I'm sure she will still be able to follow the symbols easily enough, and she will get this done really quick. Mum is really um, as soon as she starts a project, she just works, works, works until she's finished it, and she'll work half the night doing it too. She's like that with jigsaw puzzles. She just can't leave them alone. 
<laughs> she's just got to finish them off. I keep telling you, just enjoy the whole process. You don't have to have it all done, uh, you know, in 48 hours. <laughs> but look at the beautiful colours. Yellows and all the purples. And then there's a few lighter purples on the end there with some whites. So I'm hoping she likes this because I would like to buy her more for her birthday. But there is some backstitching as well. And backstitching really finishes a project off. You don't have to, but it just makes the whole design look so much more crisper and it just pulls the whole design out and makes it look so much better I think. Depends on the design but anyway I'm excited to give her this for Mother's Day. We're going to go out for my sister and I and take mum to a cafe so I might make her a Mother's Day card and then Pop in a little cash to go in there so that she can pick something for herself as well or put it towards something. And yeah, mum's quite hard to buy for actually. So, okay, so that's that one. And that was a Joy Sunday. This one's a Joy Sunday too. And I've seen this design on various uh, websites, shops stitch and diamond painting online stores and I've been wanting to get this for a long time so finally I have done it this one's for myself beautiful plants and that building I would love to live there it's so pretty garden villa it's called and this one is 14 count the last one was 14 count too sorry I forgot to mention that this is 50 by 40 centimetres, so it's a little bit bigger. And these Joy Sunday brands have all the directions at the back of the pack. Very easy to follow. And I love the little packs they come in. You just keep everything safe in the package. Oh, and of course you get a uh, a needle, which I forgot to check on that one. So there's two here. Sometimes they have them on the canvas, so look out for that. Oh, I love the size of this. Now this one yes, yes I think I mentioned that 14 count but look at that this section here and here will be easy to do bit more fiddly down the bottom where all those plants are but the building will be fun to, to cross stitch now I'm going to put my glasses on So this is the graph that you can refer to, very easy to follow, nice size, which I always like with Joy Sunday. And I don't think there's any back stitch in this. So there is 60, full stitch, full stitch, full stitch, yep, 60 colours. And that, that it's going to look wonderful. The more colours, the better, I think. And all the symbols. 
this down here for the DMC code and the number. The canvas has the overlocking on the edge, so it's going to going to keep everything together. Now the fun bit is looking at all the beautiful threads. Look at that. And the other side. Love those warm colours. And then it's a little bit difficult to show you. There's so much thread everywhere. And my tummy's rumbling. There we go. Last night I had my um, granddaughter, one of my granddaughters, sleep over again. Uh, last week I had the older one and now I had the middle one. granddaughter and um, we made unicorn biscuits and or cookies we, we say biscuits I think in the US you call biscuits what we call scones um, but anyway they were cookies and they turned out really nice spiral um, the dough was pink and then just the plain colored dough and we made spirals and slice them up and she rolled them in some hundreds and thousands and they turned out really nice actually I love them so anyway very soft so that's that one now I might be able to get another one in after this depending on how long I take this is a very big one this is a no brand but if you know me you know I love green Look at that, look at all the green. When I saw this design, I just had to have it, not just because of the colour, but the design itself. Wow, that is a lot of thread. <laughs> oh my goodness, am I going to do all this? Okay, so here's some instructions, and these... Okay, so you don't get a picture with it, which, oh no, I guess you do, sorry, my bad. Okay, so there are all the instructions, same as what's on the Joy Sunday packages, but this is just a smaller printout on some paper. You get your, because this is a bigger cross stitch, you get your needles this little pom-pom to keep them safe and there are one two three four five get a little thimble and a needle threader and there's a little gold thimble I've never worked out how to use those comfortably so I don't really use them Now, I can't remember how big this is. Now, let's hopefully they will see. But you don't get, okay, you don't get the picture. I'm going to have to refer to the website. There's a little thumbnail over there, if you can see. It's a mermaid. Isn't it beautiful? And this is a big sheet for the reference and these are a little bit smaller than the Joy Sundays so not as easy to refer to uh, depending on the symbol of course but there are 40 colours all up and if I can find it I will link this in the description so you can have a look at the design because it looks much better you can see it clearly on the website so that's the only downside with these and it didn't 
tell you the size. Do it. 80 by 60. 80 by 60 centimetres. I think that's what it is. Let's have a look at the canvas. Now some cross stitchers like soft canvases. Some people like more of the stiff canvases. I sort of like the more on the stiff side but not as stiff as this is but what happens is you can sort of roll it uh, and the more you work on it the softer it becomes but I don't mind them a little bit on the stiff side so there's a little bit of confetti here now this is 14 count And I think the the rest, a little bit of confetti here and on the bottom left hand corner. But I think especially this top section will be pretty quick to cross stitch. So you probably can't tell what's what just looking on here. So it doesn't do it justice actually. And my only wish with these no brands is they would give you a bigger picture of the image because I mean they could take it down the site off the site for all I know and then I won't have anything to refer to but what I should do is print it off and large it on the site and then print it off myself. Let's have a look at all this gorgeous thread. Oh my goodness. So these are all extras from these colours here. Because obviously they won't be able to fit everything on there. So look at this blue. I love this baby blue. And look at all the greens and the teals. Look at that. And they have the number on each of them, so you know. Look at this one. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow. Am I really going to cross stitch all of this? <laughs> I'm a bit scared now. <laughs> Never mind. I will because. To be honest, when you cross stitch anything like that, it does take time and it's the process that you have to enjoy, not just the end product. <laughs> so, you know, it gives you something to do and I always Google while I'm cross stitching. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes and then I have a cup of coffee and just really enjoy it and I'll just cross stitch maybe an hour at a time because my back isn't that good. So that tends to stiffen up after a while. But, you know, a few times a day I'll go get back to the cross stitch and do a little bit more. And I just chug away until it's all done. But look at these colours. And look at them all together. All the browns and neutrals. Do one side what on 24 minutes, but I will be editing some out. Look at that! Oh, look at that green on the end. And I love green so much, so I'm not going to get sick of green by the end of this. Believe me, I love all colors, but green I do gravitate towards. Very nice. So I cannot wait to start all these. I can just see myself having about 20 cross stitches started. So and look at this goodness here. 
big handful of it. Okay, put this aside. I'm going to do one more cross stitch unpacking, unboxing. Which one should I do? I oh, will do this one. This one's a Joy Sunday. It is a 14 count, 48 by 48 centimetres, and it's called Falling for You. I love flowers. I love bright colours. I love pastels too, but my home is has mostly just very bright colours. The only pastels I have is probably in this craft room, so... look at the design. I wish the mermaid we just looked at had a nice big picture like this to refer to. But look at this beautiful navy background. A lovely sunflower and look at all those other flowers. Very pretty and this will look really nice in my hallway. And of course, their reference scrap here are on different sheets, which is good because depending on the section you're working on, you can really hone in and see it clearly. So I love that about the Joy Sundays. Look at that. So if you can't see clearly on the Ida, Ada, and you're a bit stuck, because sometimes that can happen, you might get two symbols the same colour that are beside each other and you can always refer to this which I haven't had to do a lot okay so this has French knot and backstitch I haven't made a French knot for years I know it's easy and I can always google it um, so there's no problem there I know the backstitching so backstitch there are three colours, French knot one colour and the full stitch 31 colours. That surprises me, I would have thought there'd be a little bit more than that on that but it's a very easy design I think it will be to, oh my goodness look at that. <laughs> I love the rich colours together like that. Oh wow, this is going to be... Oh, I want to start this now. <laughs> Again, another great size. Look at that. And look how clear you can read the symbols. And then it has the French knot and the back stitch on the side. Love it. Now let's have a look at the two needles here. Look at these colours, guys. Put them out the way and show you this. Look. Look at that. The other side. just look really nice together, so rich and luxurious. Beautiful. There's a little bit of purple there. And then we have all the blues. This is a pretty colour here. Wow. I can't wait to start this one. They look beautiful. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that's it for this video. Um, hopefully this is about half an hour. And 
yep, we'll stop here and I will continue on the second part. So thank you so much for watching guys. Look out for part two of the fan saws, diamond painting and cross stitch unboxing, unpacking. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.